Hello guys, me Carl Sands, as I can have Carl FF, and welcome to another edition of F1 2021 Career Mode. So, it's actually my team that I'm starting up, and as you can see, I'm trying to create my own race team and customize my paint scheme, customize my racing suit, and try to get some sponsors, engine supplier, you name it. This is what F1's all about, and sift from NASCAR, from my perspective, and you have to perform right away if you want to stay in the business. So, as far as the races I'll do, I was gonna do Bahrain, but yeah, I already did the race, but the thing is, Xbox Live didn't capture it, so it's corrupt, so... I might only do a little bit of the Spanish Grand Prix with some practice and quality sim right there. But for Osber, I don't know how to pronounce it, Azerbaijan. Yeah. It has a little bit of the race footage. And I guess if you want to compile your own videos, you can't make it 10 minutes or more long. Or the length of the videos for it, which I believe the cutscenes, yeah, don't make the cutscenes more than 10 minutes or else the Xbox Live won't actually put it in OneDrive, so that's, that's all I'm going to tell you, so where should I start? So... I'm trying to think. Welcome yeah, to my team. I'm here just here trying to customize my paint scheme all day. And the owner of a brand new F1 team. Then I have an interview first, with Will Buxton to see how I'm doing with my role as an owner slash driver race team or something. So then I have to pick my avatar, in which I'm Asian, so I have to pick an Asian avatar. So. I guess that's basically it for me to discuss as far as the preview of what I should expect in F1 my team. So, I'm a Capricorn i 5 You all have a great day and peace out. <laughs>
Nice. Now, some kind of income stream is critical, so we need to sign a primary sponsor. Our primary sponsor will pay a signing bonus to the team up front. This is vital to cover the early investments we need to make. They will also provide valuable weekly income for us. Each sponsor has a goal they want the team to achieve. If we hit that goal, the sponsor will pay us an additional goal bonus. Fantastic! Now we've got a budget to work with. Our car won't be going anywhere fast without a power unit. So, let's sign a power unit supplier now. We need both performance and durability from our power unit, but we also need to balance the books. We're going to have a lot of other areas to invest our cash into. We almost have all the key partners for our team now, but we still need a teammate for you. These are the drivers available to be your first teammate. They all have their own strengths and weaknesses, so consider everything when deciding who to hire. Drivers earn a claim based on their performances. When a driver earns enough acclaim, they will level up. The higher a driver's level, the more acclaim they will earn for their current team. And remember, the faster the team levels up, the faster our income will increase. The higher a driver's experience, the more resource points are earned to spend on vehicle upgrades. Racecraft is the driver's skill to effectively complete overtakes when opportunities arise. Awareness shows the driver's ability to avoid errors and incidents. Pace describes the driver's ability to set competitive lap times. Focus represents the driver's current form and state of mind. Rating is a summary of the driver's overall skill level. Looks like we can afford this power unit supplier and teammate. Go ahead and confirm if you're happy. Let's create the livery we'll be running this season. We can add more sponsors to the car as we sign them throughout the year. And don't worry, we can edit our look at any time from HQ. Last but not least, we need to consider our brand, our badge, and team colours. Great, that's everything we need. 
You can go back and edit anything we've done so far, and we'll come back here at the start of each season. But if you're ready to go, hit advance to head to the Team HQ, and we can start our push to the top of Formula One. Hello folks and welcome to this, a very special edition of Paddock Pass. As you can see, there's no pit lane behind me and as you can hear, no roar of engines and that's because they've set me free from the F1 paddock to escape here to the countryside and to the headquarters of Formula One's newest team. Now it's not every day we get to pull back the curtain and look behind the scenes at an F1 team. Rarer still that we get to talk not only to the team owner, but also the team's lead driver. But what makes this place extra special is that the owner and lead driver are one and the same person. Now it's been an interesting 12 months and we all know a number of the regulation changes which were due to come into effect this year have been delayed until next. Some though are still seeing the light of day, amongst them the all important budget cap, which gives some of the smaller teams a little further down the order, potentially the opportunity to compete with the bigger teams. Good for them, but great for us as viewers. But what does our new team owner think about these new rules? Do they see them as a challenge, a hurdle that needs to be overcome? Perhaps they see them as an opportunity to disrupt the status quo, a chance to come out swinging and to carve their name into Formula One history. Well, I had the opportunity to ask them these very questions just earlier today. And here's what they have to say. Well, first of all, thanks so much for inviting us here today. It's been wonderful to see behind the scenes. Uh, as you might expect, I've got about a million questions, so let's jump straight in. It's been a long time since we last saw a team owner take their own car onto the track, and the sport's changed enormously in the intervening years. How are you going to handle the responsibilities of both managing and driving for a Formula One team? Let's talk about your teammate. Now, it's clear they're excited to have signed with you, but tell me, what is it that you think they bring to the team? So you've obviously been putting a lot of work into the car. I know it's early days, but how do you expect it to feel out there? Most of the other teams can boast years of experience in Formula One. Where do you see the opportunities to make those vital performance gains you need to put you within reach of the other cars? Ultimately, your success this season is going to come down to whether you can take positions from the other drivers. What is it about your car that's going to give you that edge in those battles? And finally, with so many specialist departments working together here at your headquarters, and with such an important deadline coming up, who's getting that coveted teacher's gold star? Which group do you feel the most proud of right now? Well, thank you so much for your time. It's uh, been wonderful to get an insight from you and of course to see around the headquarters. Thank you for today, really appreciate it. And thank you all at home for watching as well. We'll see you very soon.
We're all ready for tomorrow's race, but before we begin, let's have a quick look at those who will be fronting the grid. Ali, Bottas and Charles Leclerc. With qualifying wrapped up, we now have our grid lineup for the big race tomorrow. Be sure to join us then for what will no doubt be a fantastic race. Right, I think we can call that a successful qualifying. We should be in with a good chance in the race.
So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content, and if you saw the recent video interesting, share that comment right below the description so you can share some thoughts and feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So I make a happy Corona night 5. You all have a great day and peace out.